Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So I just got a really fun box in the mail. I got my sunlight box that is full of all the extra stuff I needed to order for a variety of different subjects. So it's kind of a mishmash in here. And like I was saying in my last video where I was talking about all the stuff I got for the HBL as well as the science, this is all the other stuff, kind of to fill in the gaps, get student sheets, to get extra books, things like that. And so I am so excited to share this all with you today. So welcome to another Sunlight unboxing for the 2022-2023 school year. So hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to the channel if you are new here or welcome back if you have been coming for a while. So like I said, I'm just gonna unbox all these extra things from Sunlight and let's just chat through it. So we picked up this book for our HBLB. This was actually the only book that did not come in the used set that I showed you last time. And so I knew I had to pick that one up. And then this one and the Millie Molly Mandy storybook. This is for the pre-K program for my twins for next year maybe, I'm not even sure. This is the Paintbrush Kid, the house on Walenska Street. So these ones are, I believe, the ones that I'm going to be talking about right now are, are all the grade three readers. So the littles, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this looks like a reader, I'm pretty sure. The Last Cat. Riding the Pony Express. This looks like, I think this is, I bet this is one of the ones that is a little bit later in the year. But that'll be fun for him. Viking Adventure. This is a bigger one. Nice. All right. Here's an I Can Read It level three. The Long Way Westward. And this is Prairie School. And this is Keep the Light Burning Abbey. That looks fun. Lots of pretty colored pictures, some black and white pictures. This is Clara and the Book Wagon. I think this is one of the first ones they read. Yeah, you can tell there's much bigger font. This is one of the first ones assigned, I believe. And this is A Question of Yams and a missionary story based on the true events of Gloria Reap. Oh, that'll be really neat. That's a reader missionary story, not a read aloud, which is just really neat. And this one looks kind of like the other one. So this is called The Long Way to a New Land. Here's another pre-K one. So Uncle Wiggly's storybook. I didn't realize it was so big. Oh, this one's gonna be great. So we're gonna read that one. This is How to Dig a Hole to the Other Side of the World. I believe this is also pre-K. This is called Brave Kids. It's true stories from America's past. The Chalk Box Kids. This is third grade detectives, which my son's literally looking forward to this. And this is one of those where it's, they just read it from one side, and then they flip it over and read it from the other, which is, I think, just really fun for kids. I think it's fun, so. And then this is the Lion Storyteller Bedtime Book, pre-K. Some more books, okay. Then I did just pick up some of the extras. You know how in Sunlight there is the five-day schedules and the four-day schedules? Well, we always just pick the four-day schedules because we have an enrichment school, but because of that, we miss out on a lot of the five-day books, the read-aloud books. So I just picked up some of those, some of the ones that looked really interesting. So this is called Astrid the Unstoppable in HBLA, written by the author Maria Parr, and she writes Adventures with Waffles, which I just loved. And that book was my kid's favorite read aloud from this past year so far. So I had to pick that up. And this is Jake Drake, Bully Buster, which I again think that's a level three reader. And The Secret Valley, I think that's also a reader. Some of these I'm a little unsure. The Sword in the Tree, this is definitely a reader. It's one of the ones that I think are assigned more at the end of the year. And then here, these two are read alouds. So this is Babe, The Gallant Pig, which is just kind of a classic, and it's part of the HBLA along with this one, Word of Mouse, which I've heard such great things about this one. It's written by James Patterson, so it just looks really good, and it, I think my kids will like this one. And then Eric Carlyle's Animals, Animals, so pre-K. And as, long, as well as this one. So the Berenstain Bears Big Book of Science and Nature. So those ones. And maybe I'll make a video about all I have collected for preschool level as well as the pre-k level because I have mishmashed it a little bit. I did not just order the full level straight from sunlight. 
I'll explain it later. Maybe I will make just a video about how I have collected all those resources, but some of these were from Sunlight, and since I picked up my HPL level K from them last year, I, so that made me part of the Sunlight Cares program for a year, so I had 10% off and free shipping, so it actually worked out easier just to buy them from Sunlight than to go to Amazon and try and track them all down. So I picked them all up from Sunlight. So that is all the books, officially all the books, but I still have a lot of stuff in here to show you. So let's go through what, what else I picked up. Um, so here's uh, some timeline figures from HBLK. So this is more for my twins when they get to that program. I wanted to pick that up for them because I was surely going to use it and I didn't want it to like change or anything like that. You know what I mean? So same for this. Here is the science sheets for K, for science K. So this will be for my twins and and then I have timeline figures for HBLA. So again, all for my twins. And, all right, let's see what else is in here. Okay, and then I picked up some coloring books. So this is Keen Tut Coloring Book. So this is a 4HBLB, which I was showing you last week and I'm so excited and I wanted to pick up a couple coloring books for my big kids for when we do more read alouds and those just looked really cool. All right, so let's get some more stuff out here. Oh, I did pick up the A and B book labels. So I already picked up the K and the pre-K ones last year. And so I wanted to label some of our books. And then I got some timeline figures for B. And I should have two. Hopefully I have two of those because I have four kids and I want them all to have their own uh, timelines. Okay, here is some more of the first grade experiment papers because we're using a lot of those this year with my big kids and I want them for when the twins get to that program. So I'm just kind of filling in all the gaps for the programs that I know I'm going to use. Oh, yep, here's all the extras. So here's timeline figures for K and B again for both kids. Here's another one of the King Tut books for my big kids. Here's another timeline figure A. So good. I was worried about that just for a second. And then I picked up some Wordly Wise books for my big kids. So I picked up both A and B. And Wordly Wise is the vocabulary program that really they start in the language arts level two. And as you can see here, I decided to go back to Sunlight Language Arts. I'm gonna give it another try, especially this level. So level three, I have heard great things about. I've heard it's a wonderful start into the writing process. They use what's called diamond notes. And it's just a good way to teach the kids because I was feeling a little unsupported in some of the creative writing parts of level one when I was trying to do it with my son last year. Language arts is definitely my weak subject, but I do want to give the language arts another shot. I liked a lot of it. I liked that it was all kind of incorporated together, that I don't have to run a ton of different programs at the same time. I can use this and I can use math and I, I can use our HBL and our science program. I was just finding myself getting overwhelmed by pulling so many resources for so many kids and stuff like that. So I'm just learning that about myself. So I'm giving Sunlight Language Arts one more shot. I still have all the stuff from last time, so I haven't sold any of it. So it's worth trying again. And I'm really, really excited. I think it'll be a good decision, but let's see what else I have. This is the level three readers, the instructor's guide. So it's all the questions and the schedule and things like that. So that's just, that's really handy. And let's see what is else. Um, and I also picked up the kindergarten science experiment sheets. So that's for my twins for the kindergarten program. So yes, I think I will do a video on what I've collected for them going forward. So what I have here, I did not, it did not come in that small box. I got it during the Black Friday sale of 2021 because the history, the hands-on history kits and the science kits, they often go on sale like throughout the year. And so for me, I know that. So I was just kind of waiting for one of their sales and it just, it helps, helps make an expensive product a little better because I just, I've learned I'm not good at crafts. I'm not good at collecting things myself. I'm not good at planning that. Just makes me a little bit tired, but Sunlight has done such a great job of like collecting it all for you. So these are the hands-on history kits. And basically they, they come out starting with HBL A, B, and C. And so this one's for HBL B, which we're doing next year and I'm so excited. And it just comes out with these things. So it has like the Trojan horse kit and it has all the different materials you'll need for that project. And here's the Laurel wreath project. 
and it has all of this. And I didn't get two. I'm just going to have my kids share because they can share. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and here's the miniature yurt kit. Oh, look at all these craft supplies. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't have done this myself. Um, here's a dragon puppet. Um, a Greek vase. Um, this is a cylinder seal. That'll be kind of cool. And this is a Senate game board. And then, let's see, last one is a, oh, it's a chariot. Build your own chariot. And it even comes with all the, like, metallic paint. Oh, my gosh. This is fantastic. Archaeology kit. And then it has some random paintbrushes and sticky glue and things like that. Oh, and there's even more. Oh, my gosh. Good thing I looked down here. Um, this this is what I wanted. I was like, I don't know how to do all these. So here's the instructor's guide, I'm pretty sure. Yep, here is all the colored instructions for how to do these. I believe the HBL instructor's guides tell you when to pull these out or say when they're appropriate. Um, I don't think this does. But when we start using this more, I will let you know as I'm doing some homeschool updates and things like that. So that is a hands-on history kit. And that is all the extras I picked up from Sunlight to get us through the year. Actually, it's not really to get us through the year. A lot of it was to infill for my twins and just make sure I pick up the resources that I will need based on the addition of the HBL and the science programs that we currently have. To me, it's a good idea just to pick it up and have it like fully stocked so that I don't have to think about it. So when I'm trying to pull all the resources for the twins pre-K year, I don't have to order a bunch of stuff. It's kind of all in the box ready for them. So I just wanted to do that just because they are about four years behind my big kids and I just don't want any addition issues, if that makes sense. I don't know if anybody else does that. I'm just a planner and I like to have really plan ahead so I am so excited, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm excited, one, that I decided to go with the language arts, and I'm excited for all these little readers for my son. I think he's really gonna love them. I think it's gonna be really good. So oh, that is what I have. I hope you all are doing well, and, I, and if you are starting to plan for next year like I am, I know I'm really early, but it it's a stress reliever for me, and I find it really fun, and so it's hard for me not to start planning. And if you're like me, let me know down below. If you're curious about any of the sunlight things I just unboxed, or even last week when I was talking about the used curriculum we picked up for next year, just let me know down below. I have definitely become a bit of a sunlight convert, so it's all good. But anyway, that is what I have for this video. If you liked it, if you are as excited as I am for next year, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and otherwise I will see you in the next homeschool video. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.